Hello everyone. In many cases, you may need to allocate some numbers. For example, if you have a total cost that need to be allocated to the stores or to some products, or such as our case, if you have a total budget that you need to allocate to different months. This is exactly what we are going to discuss in today's video, the 10th video of Advanced Power Query series. Let's go directly and see the example and how we can solve this together. On the left hand side, I have the actual sales report for 2022. It comes in a table like this. I have the categories in the columns and I have the month in the rows. I also received the budget for 2023, but you can see that this budget is coming by total year. There is no month data for each and every category. And the requirement is to use Power Query in order to allocate each and every revenue for each and every category for all the months. The expected results should be like this. A table exactly the same format like the actual 2022. I have categories in the columns and the revenue distributed for each and every month. Let's try to do this together using Power Query. In order to allocate the category budget for each and every month, I need something like an index or an allocation driver. So for each and every category, if I manage to get the percentage of each and every month to the total year, maybe I'll get a percentage like this one. So you can see that I have the sales for January 1.9% of the total sales of accessories. Also, February is 1.6% and so on and so forth. And the total accessories for all months is 100%. This is the same for bikes, clothing and components. So if I get this percentage, I can use it to multiply each and every percentage by its correspondent category from the budget table. So I can get the budget distributed by month. This is pretty much easier in the Excel sheet. However, we'll try to do it using Power Query. To start, I'm going to send both tables into Power Query. I already converted both tables into table format. So while selecting any cell inside the actual sales report, I'm going to data ribbon on the left hand side from table range. This will trigger the Power Query editor. On the right hand side, I have the name of the query coming from the name of the table, which is fine for me. I need to do a quick transformation for this query. I need to get rid of the total line and also the total column. And also I need to unpivot this report. In order to do so, I'm going to select the total column, right click and remove. Also, I'm going to the first column from the month column. I'm going to uncheck or filter out the total line and click on OK. While selecting the month, right click and unpivot other columns. Now the table is unpivoted. However, I need to change the attribute and value. I can do so from the formula bar. Let me double click the attribute and let me call it category. And for value, I'm going to call it actual underscore 22 and then the check mark and this table is ready let me also bring the other table i'm going to select any empty white space on the left hand side right click and new query other sources and blank query i'm going to use excel.current workbook and then hit enter here is the component of the excel workbook i'm going to select the budget so i'm going to hit on this table this will open the budget table no need for further transformation except giving a meaningful name to this query let me call it budget underscore 23. let me go back to the actual 2022 at the very beginning i need to have the subtotal for each and every category let me just quickly change the sorting of this table i'm going to sort by category and ascending i need for each and every line i have four accessories i need also a column containing the total accessories for each and every line in order to do so i'm going to use the group by while selecting the home ribbon i'm going to use group by automatically i'll have the category as a grouping i'm going to add a new column and i'm going to call this column total category the operation will be sum and I need to sum the actual 2022 column. Before just clicking on OK, I need to add another aggregation. So I need to click the advanced and I'm going to select add aggregation. The new aggregation, I'm going to call it details and I'm going to use the all rows and then hit OK. And here you go, I have the subtotals for actual sales for each and every category. And also I have for each and every line a table called details. If you check any of this table, let's say for accessories, you'll see all the details for accessories. I also have here the details of the bikes and so on and so forth for the entire table. Now I need to see the column category and the column actual side by side. So I can divide 
the actual 22 by the category and get the allocation percentage. In order to do so, I'm going to expand this details column. I'm going to use the expand button. Let me uncheck use original column name as prefix. Also, no need for the categories. I already have it. I need the month and the actual only. And I'm going to hit OK. And here you go. You have this table expanded. You have the total categories repeated by category. You can see that it is changing by the change in category and you have your actual data for each and every month. Now I can use the division operation so I can get the percentage for allocation. I'm going to select the actual column and press and hold control and I'm going to select the total category. I'm going to add column and standard and from standard I'm going to use divide. This will add a new column called division. Let me change the name to something like allocation driver and then the check mark and here is my percentage ready. The next step is to get the data for the budget inside the same table so I can have the allocation driver and the total for each and every category. I mean the budget total for each and every category in the same line so I can multiply both together. In order to do so, I'm going to use the simple merge. So from home, I'm going to merge queries. On the top, I'm going to select the actual 2022. On the bottom half, I'm going to select the budget 23. The common column will be categories. I'm going to select on both tables. And you'll see that I have 48 matches out of 48 rows. And for sure, the join kind will be left outer. I'm going to click on OK. And here you go. You have a column for budget 23 table. I'm going to expand some of the columns. I need only the revenue. So I'm going to uncheck category and click on OK. And here you go you have the budget revenue and you have the allocation driver. You can just multiply both together. I'm going to select the first column, push and hold control and select the second column. Again, going to add column standard and this time multiply. I'm going to change this to budget underscore 23 and click the check mark. And here you go, you have the allocated budget. You notice that I have more than two decimal places. I can round this up to only two decimal places. From the formula bar and after the each keyword, I'm going to use a function called number.round. The first parameter will be the multiplication and the second parameter will be only the number of decimals. It will be two and hit the check mark. And here you go, I have the rounding done. Now I need to select only the columns that I need. I need to get rid of all the helper columns. I'm going to start by selecting category and then month. I need the actual 2022 and finally I need the budget 23. Right click and remove other columns. This will help me also to get the columns sorted as I want. Now I'm ready to load this query. I'm going to home and close and load, close and load too. At the beginning, I'm going to load both queries as connection. So I'm going to select only data connection and click on OK. On the right hand side, you have both queries. I need only the actual. So I'm going to right click and load to. Let me change the loading option. I'm going to select pivot table report and existing worksheet. Let me put it below the expected results table. And then I'm going to click on OK. Here you go, we have a pivot table placeholder. I'm going to prepare a very quick pivot table. I'm going to use the budget inside the values and categories in the columns and month in the rows. Quickly, we can do number formatting. And here we go, we get exactly the expected result. We managed to allocate the budget that we get for each category to be a detailed budget by month for each and every category using Power Query. That's it. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe and leave me a comment. Also check out these links and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye.